Hi there. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create this front-facing profile illusion, going from two pictures of you, uh, turning it into that illusion you see here on the right. I took an avatar, since I don't want to avoid any issue with privacy from being using real-life pictures. So, what are you going to do? You need these two pictures. Ideally, so the front picture and the profile picture, ideally with a plain background. That can, that's going to make it easier to uh, to select the thing. You use the fuzzy select tool, and you're going to select the background of the picture. You can play with the threshold if it doesn't give the, the, the expected results. As you can see now, it selects everything except the head. So the background is being selected. Now you simply copy that background. You go to the front-facing picture and you paste it on it. So edit, paste. As you can see now, you have that uh, background as sort of a mask. What you're going to do now, you're going to move it until it fits the way you want it. You want to want it, you the way you want to have it. So you're going to maybe zoom in a bit and check out so that you have the results that you expect to have. Quite simple technique. Now you've done that. Uh, right, a bit like that. Okay, now we've done it. Uh, the next thing you do, you need to anchor the two pictures together so you to flatten them sort of, so you only have one picture, one layer. And you select out the part you want to keep for the new image. So taking off a bit of the hair up there because it looks a bit weird. And uh, down the throat too, you take a bit off it, and you copy that part and paste it into a new image. So paste as new image, right? Okay. So you have that new image. It's a rectangle. Uh, next thing we can do is make it square so it fits better into a profile, whatever a Facebook profile or whatever it is. So you copy that out and you create a new image so file sorry file new image and there you select a square size so make sure that the two sizes are the same width and height uh, here it's 385 okay so you have a square and you paste your picture in there paste okay now you want to take off these two borders first you anchor it again so you flatten the image so it's uh, one image again and you want to fill so with the color picker, you take the background color first. So you select the background here. So you've got the background as a color, which you're going to use now with the filling tool. Use that color and you fill the right and the left part of the picture. And now you've got your results. It's quite a simple technique. When you zoom in, as you can see, there might be a few things you can change. You can put it play a bit with brightness and uh, contrast if you wish to. You could change the, it to grayscale mode, for instance. So you, you have the maybe more interesting results depending. And you can play around with GIMP. I'm not an expert in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever, but you can use more sophisticated techniques afterwards. If you want, for instance, uh, let's say here, all the profile, you could take the original cut off a bit of the original profile and paste it here and sort of melt it together but that's a bit more complicated thing